And welcome back to Starfire Sports Stadium. We are tied here 1-1, but before we get into that, we have a special guest with us here in the studio. Mr. Warren Barton up here to watch S2 tonight. It's a pleasure to have you here, sir. I don't know about special guests, but yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's a pleasure to be up here. That's no, nice. Well, if you've watched the soccer game at all in some of the big games, the Premier League, this man has been on TV for how, how long has it been now? Multiple years now you've been doing it. It makes me feel old now. Oh, I yeah. played play for 18 years and 10 years doing the media and been in the U.S. since 08. Uh, moved my family over here and uh, love it. I live in Southern California, San Diego, so getting used to this beautiful weather that you have up here and uh, enjoying the game it's been an excellent game and so we understand your son has just signed for Sounders Academy yeah Milo uh, my oldest son he had the opportunity he just graduated from high school had the opportunity to go to uh, Santa Barbara but Seattle showed a lot of interest in him and he come up here last August uh, enjoyed what he's, he's seeing in the environment today we've, we've been around had a look at the place and he's delighted to sign and have the opportunity it's a great club uh, the fans play a big part in this and they like with their academy players coming through uh, so we're really excited, very proud for him, but he's got a long way to go yet. Well, it's an exciting opportunity for any young player. If you're unfamiliar with it, the academy players that are graduating or heading to college start to leave the club now, and it's now it's an opportunity for players like your son to come in and start to mix in with, with the whole club. So really exciting time for him. Excited for you guys. He, everything that I didn't have, he's quick and left-footed. <laughs> so he's probably got a better chance. So, um, but as I said, it's a, a great environment. I've been around the club and... I understand and you, yep. you know what it's like back home where you know you have the academy players the reserve team players the s2 and the first team all in that environment and i think the club's done that very very well so growing up just like i did when you went through kind of the academy yts system pushing through the reserves and up to the first team you know the sound is kind of putting in kind of a similar type of structure maybe talk a little bit about your experience across the country different academies different systems being put in place to allow that kind of those young players to push through yeah well i moved here in 08 as i said and i had the opportunity to go to the la galaxy and at that time it was 16s and 18s there was no 14s, no 12s, no academy coming through, no uh, links with other clubs or clubs in that area. So uh, the development that's shown in the last probably six to eight years has been phenomenal um, with the academy players that you have, the affinity they have with local clubs. With the country being so large, it's difficult to see every corner to get every player. So you need that resources to help. And then now you're seeing homegrown players being given the opportunity playing in the yep. national team. Zardis was a player that I had and to go on and have the career that he's doing is it, fantastic. I do agree with the college, it could be a longer season. I think maybe when you go into spring, it could be more competitive. Uh, but it's definitely going in the right direction. You know, we go back to the, the old days in Europe where you go from six, seven, eight, and it's getting there. And uh, I, I think what we've seen in the growth in, the, in recent years has been great. What I like about it, about the league and about certain coaches, is they, they give them a chance. Where in the Premier League, the EPL, you've got these talented young players, they're never going to get in. They've got millions and millions of dollars to spend. They'd rather go and spend that on a, a foreign player than giving a kid a chance. And I think that's what really appealed to me as an ex-player and as a parent, for someone like Milo to have the opportunity. If he does well, I can hear that he'll be given a chance. And that's all you can do as a player. Yeah, and talking about you know Premier League, EPL, kind of a couple of weeks away from the start of the season should be a fascinating season. Maybe give us a quick snapshot in the last minute about what you think the EPL season is going to. Well, I think it's going to be fascinating because the, the the power that you have of the coaches now, it, I've never seen that before. But in my time, it was maybe Wenger, Kevin Keegan, Sir Bobby Robson, and maybe obviously Sir Alex Ferguson. But Mourinho, Pep, um, you've got Conte, who's going to do well at Chelsea. Mm -hmm. I spent some time over there doing my coaching license at Chelsea in the summer as well. So I think it's going to be very competitive. Uh, there's going to be some unhappy people. I think Chelsea, are maybe not being in the Champions League, will mm -hmm. give them a bonus. But the money that's in the game now is, is quite phenomenal, and it's going to be so competitive and unfortunately for some teams they're going to drop out of it but I, I do fancy Manchester City with Pep yep. the way he goes about his business I watched him a little bit when he was working very intense about how he works but very clear in his yep. instructions and I think as a player you can take that on board that's great and obviously all eyes will be on the, that town of Manchester when those two meet together and also United Milo City. when he comes oh, along here as well of course because we didn't mention Newcastle <laughs> <myself, laughs> <'cause laughs> uh, any chance they're coming back after after this season Newcastle coming back in the Premier League there are certainty Rafa Benitez confirmed to me that they'll be back if, it, if not <laughs> it's six months it'll be within about eight months perfect warren barton wonderful to have you here and we'll be back more with highlights and analysis after this